Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Natalie Decker, and tonight is the night before my first race back since the coronavirus happening and being in quarantine. And it's just so crazy that we are finally going back racing and it's gonna be so different. There's no fans that are gonna be there. Um, limited people are allowed at the racetrack. My family can't even come and no practice, no qualifying. We just show up and race. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited to finally be back. And Charlotte originally wasn't on my schedule. And after this whole thing happened, we got it on my schedule. So I'm really excited to be doing that first race back. Um, so I'm starting to vlog this tonight and I'm gonna try and take as much footage as I can tomorrow and really make it feel like you're there with me. And I'm gonna try my best. So I really hope you enjoy watching this video. And I have all my bags packed and ready to go. I got my masks here and I'm just so excited. So I really hope you enjoy this video and thank you so much for all your support. And I really wish all you fans could be there, but I'm glad we at least get to put on a show for you on TV. And thank you so much for all your support. And like I said, I really hope you enjoy this video you're about to watch. Good morning, it's race day. Derek is doing some final little stuff to my helmet. I had a dark shield on, so he put a clear shield on and then a tear off just in case I'll need it if the sun's not down in time for our race. So this is how we're starting off our morning, getting everything 100% ready. And we are gonna be leaving here in the next five minutes to go to the motor home that's like right outside the racetrack. <laughs> and he's really excited to go to the track. We got everything we need, my helmet, race gear, his radio, dog treats, makeup bag, hairbrush, hard card. hard card, wait, mine's on, where's yours? My hard card, hard card, my face masks. We got everything, are you ready, Cash? Oh, no, get down. No, <laughs> Hoosier. This is Hoosier. That's Cash, but we call him Monkey. My mom calls him Munkles. This is Baby. So I finally made it to the motor home. She's making lunch, fruit, and my dad's making burgers and like hot dogs and brats. And the campground's like right next to the Charlotte. Speedway. If you've been here before, there's like a drag strip and a dirt track and then like a campground and then across the road is um, the racetrack I'll be racing on. So I'm going to hang out here and get suited up here and then the screening is actually like right through, like the right across the street. So like right through here, you can kind of see there's cars driving on that road. And that's where my screening's going to be before I go into the truck. Um, they take my temperature and some other things. I'm not sure I'll take you with me. So it's my first time doing it. And then you can see how it, how they do it. Look how ginormous the strawberries are. <laughs> and we got a Florida watermelon Ooh. for Ross Chastain. Well, okay. From Ross Chastain. Wait, oh, it is from him? Well, we bought it. We bought it because he rocked last night in Xfinity. So we gave him so, a little business. So, yeah. Okay. Okay, well, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit and show you what I'll be eating for lunch. Here's some of the snacks I'm eating and my dad's out there grilling. So soon that will be done too. Ooh, so you know I wanted them homemade, but you know, well, that I, will do. I can't do that in the motor home and I can't even do it at home home. And Ooh, they're chocolate. yummy. My brat's finally done and I need to show you this bun because they were over just a couple days ago and we were grilling out and we like broke three buns and like destroyed them because we couldn't figure them out. So usually you open them like on the side. So we were trying to open them on both sides, cut them, we couldn't figure it out. And then look at the top. You open it on the top. How weird is that? Pooja, are you eating lunch ones. with me? This is a regular one for you. Yeah. I got the brat. Derek's got a burger. Oh, sorry, Hoosier, you gotta go. My dad's got a burger. And mom, why aren't you eating? 
Because I fall asleep once I eat, I'm like down for the count, and it's race day. So I chow down after the race. Day. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is Cash's Mimi, Natalie's mom, Amy. And we're at Charlotte Motor Speedway on the outside of the speedway. And Cash does not fetch. He takes the ball and will never give it back. So the only way the only way you can play is keep away. And now he will never give us the ball back. Come here, Cash. They try and trick him, but Cash is too smart. <laughs> And then he clamps on so hard. Woo! Natalie's got the ball! Natalie's got the ball! We are just at the dog park playing with all the dogs and Hoosier thinks he's a human and he always sits and hangs out like on the dining room table with us like you saw during lunch or here at the park. He just sits with us. He's such a human. Coming <laughs> inside to the motorhome, we're all sitting outside and look at what are you doing? What are you doing on the table? Huh? Auntie Sue, where are you? These dogs need rules and lessons learned. If Auntie Sue was here at the race, that dog would have never been on that table. But whenever she's not here, they do what, like this, they do whatever they want. Right, Hoosier? Auntie Sue, we miss you. I'm in the motorhome that my parents travel in from race to race. I'm in their bathroom and I wanted to show you my outfit because it's totally not something I would normally wear on race day. But since I'm gonna be changing in this motorhome and then like going through screening, getting inside the track and then right in my truck to race, I thought why not wear sweatpants? So outfit of the day. So really, real fast recap, we're at the track, it is, I don't even know where there's a clock, but I think it's probably around 2 o'clock, um, I'm not going to go through screening until 5, and I don't race until 8, so we still have a long, long time left until I'm racing. But comment down below if you want like a real motorhome tour, but I'll give you like a quick little glance at what the motorhome looks like um, up front here and then comment down below if you want me to do like a real tour of the motorhome that travels to all the races. I don't stay in the motorhome when we're like not racing how we are now but like when we were at Daytona I stayed with my team at the hotel and my parents and the dog stayed at the motorhome at the track and then I just come. <coughs> Auntie Sue where are you? These dogs! <laughs> what Hoosier? And then I just come and hang out in here, um, like in between practice sessions or before practice or when I get to the track or whenever I have time, I come and I eat lunch and dinners here. And and it's great that my parents, and I feel so lucky that my parents get to come to all my races and travel in this motorhome. But here we go. I will show you um, some of what it looks like. So when you walk in the door right there, that's the only door, we have the passenger seat, which Hoosier's always on. And then that's where my dad sits and drives. My mom sleeps on this couch when they're driving with the dogs. And look at, aw, Camber, you're so loving. We have another couch over here and a fireplace. Oh my goodness, they go crazy. No, no, no bark, you're okay. Um, we have two TVs. We have one there, one there, of course. We got Fox News on. We have it on all the time because my dad is obsessed. They're outside right now. I'm sorry, the dogs are going crazy. But really quick, I'll just finish it with that's where we eat um, dinners and lunch and breakfast. Here's the kitchen. But comment down below if you want a full tour. I'm getting my suit on right now and I'll be heading to the screening here really soon. I'm so like nervous to like drive in. I don't know why, but I'm gonna see if Derek can like drop me off since we share a vehicle and I don't want him to be like stuck here without a truck just in case he needs to go anywhere. But here we go. Just in case. So Derek's driving me over to the screening right now. We both have our masks. We're about to put them on. I 
don't know the rules. I don't know if he's allowed to drop me off, but we're gonna find out. If not, I'll just have to take his truck and he'll have to be left alone with my parents with no escape. <laughs> but here we go, going to screening. Derek, buckle up. <laughs> Masks are on, we got our hard cards. First thing is dogs. I think dogs come and sniff our truck first, but I'm not too sure. Um, maybe the dogs are done for the day. Hi, sir. How you doing? Good. How about yourself? I'm doing great. And, um, is he allowed to drop me off and drive back out? Drop you off. Um, at, inside the racetrack? You'll have to get screened. But yeah, if he gets screened, he can do that. Okay, perfect. Thank you. So that was the first step. We still don't know if you're going to be allowed to drop me off, but he said he should be able to, so. I feel like a knucklehead with a mask on. <laughs> you look cute. By the way, these masks, my brother's girlfriend, Laura, made these and they are so fashionable and like so comfy. I love them. So thank you so much for these awesome masks. All right, second stop through here. Keep going. Keep going, okay. I forgot, now I have to really talk loud because people can't read my lips with a mask on. Yeah, and you are very soft-spoken to begin with. Which lane? I don't know. Inside, I outside. I think you can only go in between the cones. Oh no, that person's waving you. So here we go, we're gonna get our temperatures taken. Here's the second stop right here. Hello. Hi. Hi. Can I see that uh, official back? Oh. The no, they got one on that side too. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna take my temperature? Okay. I am. Nine. Natalie. Yes, I'm recording. Say hi. Hi. Then I'm gonna come right back out. Okay. All right. I still have to. Honey, thank you. Okay. Is it go on my hard card? It does. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you for everything you're doing. Thank you. Gonna take that temperature. Ninety-eight point five. Perfect. You're good to go. Thank you so awesome. much. You. And we made it inside the racetrack. We could have had our motorhome parked in here, but we have like a cat and dogs and stuff and we just didn't want to not have a plug in. I think that was the issue. So that's why we're at the motor or at the campground and not parked over here. I am in the hauler now. That's tech line. You can kind of see in between everyone. My 44 truck way back there, right out of the 27 um, garage. But I'm in the hauler, I made it here. I got all my stuff up here in the lounge. And I already have my suit on, so I'm like ready to go. But I got my stuff up here. And I'm just gonna now sit in here and wait until we have to go to pit road. I just left the hauler, got my helmet and everything else. On my way to pit road, I'll show you guys what it looks like with no fans or anything here. It's pretty wild. I hope you can hear me talking through this mask. Here's my truck. Look at nobody here. It's pretty wild. My stuff all ready to go after the national anthem to put on. Right there is 29. So that's where we'll be coming in to pit. This is Adam, he's going to be buckling me in. <laughs> We're starting P13, we're out on pit road, just minutes away from the national anthem. And for the national anthem, I'm the, pretty sure I'm the only one that's allowed to stand out here by my truck. Which is going to be wild because we've never done anything like that before. Usually I have my whole family out here, my whole team out here. So that's going to be crazy, standing out here all by myself on pit road for the national anthem. Ah! I wish you guys could see like me smiling and stuff. I'm really excited. <laughs> so I don't want to film during the national anthem. So I'll see you guys all after the race.
<laughs> they say they're smiling, but you can't tell. I think we finished P27 and it didn't go very well. Someone dove down it inside of me and then came across my nose. I think I'll be able to get a replay of it for you and insert it right here. But, yes, they are. Um, but then you can see what happened, but the last stage of the race, this sucked to race with a truck like this. It was difficult, but pretty sure the tow was out and it was <laughs> not the funnest, but we finished. So it's the next day. I'm in the garage with Derek. He's cleaning up his dirt bike. Um, but the last clip you saw was the replay and I'm gonna replay it one more time for you guys because it's not the best footage of the replay. Um, you don't really get to see the 18 hit my left front, but it's better than nothing. Um, but thank you so much for watching this YouTube video and don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And thank you so much for all of your support and I love you all so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. One last thing, cause I just rewatched the replay again. For all you haters, you can see that the Goodyear is rubbed off my tire. He obviously hit me. And this is why I love watching Jeff Gordon or I guess listening to Jeff Gordon in the booth because he always gets to the bottom of things, no matter who the driver is or what position they're running. I love you, Jeff Gordon.